Hello there, welcome to my channel. We'll talk about anything recreational and motivational. Starting things off, if you might like my video, click that like button and click the subscribe button for my many videos to come. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Good day, everyone. In this video, I would like to discuss and share to you this food that I love so much and I keep it in my diet and I keep it open in my meals. First, before I get to that food, let me tell you about potassium. Potassium is an electrolyte, a mineral. It helps regulate the fluid and mineral balance in and out of body cells. It helps maintain the blood pressure by limiting the effect of sodium. And in this case, sodium, sodium is a mineral that is to be limited in your intakes. Why is this then? Take note of this. Potassium is necessary with sodium in the sodium-potassium pump that happens naturally in the body. Problem is, sodium is very abundant in nature, but potassium is nearly limited and many people have the deficiency in this mineral. Wait, you may say, what about banana? I know, bananas are everywhere. A 100 grams of banana contains 358 milligrams of potassium. The daily and safe requirement of potassium is about 10 times to 13 times this amount. Well, think about eating 13 bananas a day. Be ready for the CR break, my friend. But more also is that bananas has high amount of sugar. 12 grams of sugar and it is fructose at that. Fructose can only be processed by the liver alone. So one, if you eat too much banana, you place too much pressure on the liver. And number two, you might have too many CR breaks. So now let me introduce to you what I would like to replace or add to the bananas in my diet. Well, one important thing, and these are the greens. Most of the greens made in the market are high in potassium. Greens, I say, are, includes the kales and other cruciferous vegetables and other green herbs. But to me, the most abundant and the cheapest of them all would be the cabbage. Cabbage also is a cruciferous vegetable. It has 170 milligrams of potassium in a 100 grams cabbage with sugar of only 3 milligrams. Well, you know, this may be inferior comparison to banana. The same weight. But naturally, the sugar, the sugar in the cabbage is almost What more the following? 100 grams, we can compare the cabbage and the bananas. The vitamin A of cabbage is 76 micrograms. 76 micrograms in bananas negligible. And the vitamin C for cabbage is 37 milligrams in bananas, almost negligible. In the cabbage, vitamin A is 38 micrograms. Bananas is In the calcium, the cabbage has 40 milligrams and bananas 37 milligrams. From this, we can see that the cabbage is the upper hand. Vitamin K is necessary for transporting the calcium to the body cells. Vitamin C is helpful to strengthen the immune system of the body, which we really need in this time of crisis. So that is all there is to it for this video, guys. Well, do note that greens and other vegetables are much better than foods in our diet. In the greens, actually or any vegetables actually. I am not just talking about cabbage here. And practically, our body may respond differently for every food we eat. Some people, cabbage may bloat. So be sure to check your vegetable and if you may experience something, you might well replace it with a better one that may suit you. So what do you think guys? If you like cabbage, please comment down below. And if you might like my video, hit, hit that subscribe button for many videos. Oh, so, Better, track better, and be better. Thank you.